Hey everyone, this is Julia from Crocoblog. In this video, you will discover how to apply filters to the Bricks Query Loop. If you are new to our channel, please make sure you are subscribed and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Besides, if you want to see more useful tutorials like this video and leave your comment down below. And now, let's get started. With the JetSmart Filters plugin, you can create filtering structures for your website. And with the Bricks integration, you can assign filters to the query loop. First of all, we will create query loop. But before we proceed, let's go to the Bricks Settings tab on the WordPress dashboard. In the general section, you can enable the post types you want to add it with bricks. Now you need to ensure that the page toggle is enabled. Scroll down and hit the Save Settings button. Then move to the pages and click Add New. Enter the page title and hit the Add it with bricks button. I will add the query loop and the filters on this page. If you already have a page with such elements, you can proceed to it. Now press this plus sign icon to add a new section and then click on the container element in the structure tab. I selected such settings for the container. Display flex, flex wrap wrap, and horizontal direction. I want to display a grid with three columns and rows, so I hit the plus sign icon and add the div element to the canvas. After that, enable the use query loop toggle for the div element right here. You can set this option for the container element if you don't add the div and want to display items such as posts or terms in the list. Ok, now hit this infinity sign. In case you want to display and filter posts, select the type and the needed post type. Also set the number of posts per page, for example, 9. You can also create a custom query with the Jet Engine Query Builder feature and apply it to the query loop. In this case, pick the Jet Engine Query Builder type. Be aware that the indexer option works with posts and users, but does not work with the terms source, even if you create a terms query with the query builder and use it in the query loop. Now click on the infinity sign or the area beyond the pop-up to close it and select the needed query from the Jet Engine Queries drop-down. To filter items in the query loop, enable the Is Filterable toggle. If you have several filters and query loops on the same page, you can use this option to assign a loop to a filter with the query ID for filters field. Just enter a query ID into this field and also you will need to enter such an ID into the filter element further. In this way you can assign several query loops to one filter. In this case, you need to enter the same query ID into all query loops and filter. Also, you can specify what loop to assign to what filter, bringing them together with the query ID. Let's move on to the style tab of the div element and set the width. 32% allows me to display posts in three columns with gaps. You can also display the different data using the Jet Engine Dynamic Field, Dynamic Image, and Dynamic Link elements. I'm gonna add the Dynamic Field element to display the post titles 
and dynamic image to display the post thumbnails. The query loop shows the page info instead of the first post, but don't worry, on the front end it displays posts according to the settings. Now let's add a filter. You can assign any filter type created with the JetSmart Filters plugin to the Bricks query loop. Place the needed element on the canvas. For example, I created the search filter and drag and dropped the corresponding element. The filter settings in the content tab are pretty similar for all filter types, like select filter, this filter for apply type and so on. After setting all the options, click the Save button. We are done here, and now it's time to check how the filter works on the front end. Here is the loop with writers, and if I try to search for a certain writer, you can see that this search filter works perfectly. And that's it for this video. Now you know how to apply the JetMart filters filters to the Bricks query loop. And don't forget to check the links in the description box and share your thoughts in the comments down below. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this tutorial and of course make sure you are subscribed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.